when the pool was already finished, they pour the sand into the bottom because the sand, when it gets wet, it's strong. Then they peel the laterized stones layer by layer until it got high enough. After that, they constructed the sand stones on the top. While they were constructing the foundation, they sealed it with stucco or glue all angles and also on the top to make sure that the air cannot escape. Hindu people, they would drop a lot of treasures and sacrifice to make the foundation strong and sanctify as well as to propitiate the gods. When the huge way compresses to the foundation that's like a big box, the water gets pressure and the water molecule has emitted oxygen and hydrogen fly up into the box and cannot come out. When the atmosphere increases the heat, the air inside the box will get expanded and pushing the big box up high. This dynamic eventually makes the temple floating up on the water table steadily and structure on the top. They have to make it good balance and symmetry. Otherwise, the temple will tell and collapse. Lifting the big stones to construct on the top, they had to put the soil around the structure and making a slope. After that, they put the small locks in row so they could roll the stones on the locks. And they used the lever to pry pulley elephants to pull until they finish the whole structure. Then they clear the soil away and the temple emerged out from the ground. The last work was the decoration. The craftsmen have been trained how to carve, how to paint, and how to kill. The priests who made all the crucial decisions, like which part of the block to carve which scene of the story. Interestingly, there are nearly 2,000 Apsara dancer carvings found in Angkor Wat Temple, wearing big ornaments, putting on a beautiful crown, and some god headdresses. Especially all of them are topless. They look voluptuous, adorn the temple every corner. Comparably to the erotic celestial girls showing up their beauty in heaven. Even though most people know that the temple was built by humankind, but some local people still believe that the temple was built by gods or aliens because the grandeur of the temple is impossible for humans to make it by hands. Since the discovery until now, Angkor Wat Temple got restored for uh, several times. After the French stripping the jungle and pioneering the way penetrate to the temple ruins. The first restoration took place from 1861 to 1866 by the Indian archaeological team. But this restoration work did not help the temple to get back to its original form. It seems they attempted to devastate the temple down somehow. Finally, the restoration work of the Indian has been refrained immediately, but Angkor Wat Temple got a huge damage already. Utilizing the acidic liquids to clean Angkor Wat Temple by the Indian Conservation Mall team, there was a big criticism and regretful when the people have seen all the damages on the pillars and on the wall bases in the temple that got cleaned by them. 1898, Echo Francais de Extreme Orient, Sultan EFEO, was established in Cambodia and started working toward clearing the monuments from the jungle. About 10 years later, EFEO has assisted and cooperated with Archaeological Directorate of Cambodian government to consolidate the restoration and conservation project in Angkor. 1970 to 1980, the restoration and conservation work at Angkor came to a halt following the civil war in Cambodia. Despite having war remarkably, 
the Khmer Rouge soldiers, they caused very little damage to the temples. In 1992, due to the consistent restoration and conservation efforts, Angkor has become the main tourist attraction in Cambodia and was proudly designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. And moreover, UNESCO has provided funds and technical expertise to consolidate the restoration plan of all the temples. Apsara Authority has carried out a great function for protection and development the region of Angkor, having cooperation closely with the provincial officers. Apsara Authority has accomplished many remarkable achievements like safety, good road, canals, the forest in the park is preserved, control the residential construction that built too close to the complex that may cause the affectation to the temples. The environment around the site is clean, tidy and well organized, making the globe confidence some foreign countries with high technology aim to do the research and restore our monuments, such as Angkor Wat Temple, has been being restored by German ideologists, and they claim to do the restoration here until 20 years. So this is another success that coming out from our efforts to bring our temples back to their original form. Before this, in the restoration efforts, Italian government has restored a part of the temple. French has restored a part of the West Bridge and the galleries. The Japanese also has restored a part on the same bridge and the libraries inside. According to the remnants that left from the past time, we can strongly make presumption that the great priests, Brahmins, and astrologists in those days, they knew about the universe. They knew about the future very well. Like Angkor Wat Temple, for example, on the top part, there are three levels that corresponds to the three different periods of the universe evolution. The period of creation, the period of preservation, and the period of destruction. The staircases up to the highest level, there are 12, and each one got 37 steps. They had designed them so steep 67 degree. They intended to show that the way up to heaven is challenging. And they also knew about the future. They will have many people come from different countries coming to visit their sacred temple. And those who are required to pay respect going up the big step on the steep stair, they have to be careful, be humble, be pure, and kneeling to salute the gods. The sculpture on the east wing of the South Gallery depicts about the human souls after death. The people who committed against the religious supreme disciplines such as kill, slander, falsify, and especially betray or not obey the king is considered as sin acts. When they die, their souls will plunge into hell and get tortured for a long time. So this picture is truly frightened the people and propel the people to commit good deed, consecrate their time, and renunciation of stinginess, be loyal, faithful, and devoted to the king, religion, and the country. The king in the past built the massive stone temple just to show his glory and to accommodate the gods. Furthermore, at the sacred mountain Kulin, up the waterfall about one kilometer, we have thousands of Sivilinga figures set in the waterbed. Culturally, the water that flows over those great idols will become holy, and this water flows down into Tun Lesap Lake, make the water in the whole lake holy and sanctified. Overall, the King Surya Varaman II, he intended to build a paradise in his kingdom. I would like to say thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy with my analysis. 
please don't forget to track on my next videos that will view about the churning of male ocean that provoked by gods and demons to Alexa the immortality that depicted on the solving of the East Gallery. Thank you.